Hi guys, I'm uh, traveling from Magalisburg back to Rastenburg and on my way I'm gonna pass Olifant's Neck Dam and I'll quickly stop there just to put my drone in the air and show you guys the area at the Olifant's Neck as well It is not far from Rastenburg, it's about 15 kilometers outside of Rastenburg on the ja old Johannesburg road and uh, yeah, like you can see, it's not, uh, one would think that between big towns like Rastenburg and Johannesburg there will be a highway, but it's just a normal piece of road, and um, I grew up here in Rastenburg, and I always thought that they would make this road a, a highway or a freeway, because of the amount of traffic that's on this road, but um, yeah, after all these years, it's still just a normal double lane road. The sun is up and it's quite a nice, it turned out to be a very nice day, it's quite hot. Yeah, the time is about 9 o'clock now in the morning. And like I've said before, we are going into spring. So, yeah, the weather is really getting nice and uh, and, and the countryside is getting, there's, there's some green colors coming back. And we're just waiting for the rain now. Now here it goes into a double road where you've got a little bit of uphill and then the rest will be just single single track on the one side all the way to rest in there. Now all the way from Pretoria, you'll see there in the distance, we've got uh, a mountain range, it's called the Magalis Mountains. And it comes all the way from Pretoria up to Rastenburg and past Rastenburg as well. And uh, I used to hike these mountains a lot. I put my little tent in my backpack and I would just disappear into that mountains for, for the weekend. And have a braai up there and uh, ugh, just... Uh, just clear my head a bit and um, yeah it is also very nice to do some training there because this is where I did most of my Kilimanjaro training before I climbed uh, Mount Kilimanjaro and it's just a lovely place to walk I've never found any person on, on top of that mountains yeah that's quite a nice getaway as well if somebody likes hiking it's just disappearing in the mountains I'm now getting much closer to Willyfon's neck then. So it won't be far and then I'll quickly put the drone in the area. Okay guys, so I have arrived here at the dam 
and as you can see there's a lot of fishermen out here today I think they've got a club competition because there's a lot of fishermen out here Now this is, you see those two hills here, that's what they call the elephant's neck. Now that in English I'll translate that in the elephant's neck. And in the Boer English war there was a lot of um, battles fought here because the Boers built, um, what do you call it in English, they built uh, forts on, on top of these hills and they defended uh, and they prevented the English from going through this neck. To, to get access to Rustenburg. That's just a little bit of history. As you'll see that the water level is quite down. It's because we just come out of our winter time now. Now in winter we don't have rain here. Uh, rain, our raining season only starts now in, in spring and then it continues through summer. So hopefully this summer this dam will reach the, the, the maximum level again so we can have a full dam. But yeah, you can see uh, there's a lot of water out of this dam. Let me just fly towards the dam wall and then I'll just take some footage from the other side so that you can see what the dam wall looks like from the other side.
Well guys, that's all if I snack them for you. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope you guys find this interesting. I'll be out next weekend again, going to another place at Artis. And I think I'll most probably go and have some breakfast at Aviators, so that I can take some footage there as well. And then I'll post it. Thanks a lot for all your views. And for all the likes that I'm getting, guys, you can subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of more of this coming up. And um, when you're out on your bikes, be safe. And have a happy day, guys. Cheers.